I'm excited to introduce open source models with Hugging Face, built in partnership with Hugging Face. Hugging Face tools have been transformative for AI builders, and they help you quickly build many possible AI applications by letting you grab and deploy any of a huge variety of already trained open source models that you can then assemble into a new application. This course teaches you some of the best practices as well as what it feels like to quickly grab an image recognition model here, maybe grab an LM there, maybe grab a speech recognition model there and so on. And to use that to put together some creative application, maybe in just tens of minutes. In this course, you use the Hugging Face Transformers library and a number of open source models to process text, audio, and images. For example, you see how to combine models to build something to help a person with a visual impairment by describing an image aloud. You could do this by applying a trained object detection model to identify the objects in the image, and then you can apply a text-to-speech model to narrate the summary of what's in the image. All of the models you use in this course are open source, meaning that the models and their weights are openly available for anyone to download. Hugging Face's work to make open source models more accessible has been a huge boost to the AI community. I'm delighted to introduce the instructors. Eunice Velkodal is a machine learning engineer at Hugging Face. Mark Sun, also a machine learning engineer at Hugging Face. And Maria Halusova, a member of technical staff at Hugging Face. Thanks, Andrew. In this course, you'll learn some tips on searching and selecting models from among the thousands of open source models on the Hugging Face Hub. You'll interact with the models using pipeline objects from the Hugging Face Transformers library, which handles much of the pre-processing of inputs and post-processing of outputs, so that you can get an AI-enabled application working with a few lines of code. You'll also wrap your AI applications, such as an image narration assistant for the visually impaired, inside a user-friendly interface using the Gradio library. You'll also deploy an AI-enabled image captioning service as an API using Hugging Face Spaces, so that anyone can make an API call over the internet and use your application. You will build the components that can be combined into a voice assistant by bringing together automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech models. You will also use open source model to perform many of the natural language tasks that the LLM can do, summarizing text, translating to another language, and chatting with users like a chatbot. I hope this course will open you up to many sources of opportunities to fill AI-powered applications. <laughs>